Hello Virtual Pilots, I'm Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to talk about the new Moza MA3X side stick and what makes it different from normal grips when using a flight sim. Plus, we got to see the Z-axis module that brings us an extension to our controls. Like always, we will look at the build quality, ergonomics and how it feels clicks and steers when used with our setup. So, for those of you wondering, what's a side stick? Well, it's in the name, a side stick, an aircraft control stick that is located on the side console of the pilot, usually on the right hand side, or outboard on a two seat flight deck. This type of grip is commonly found on a fly by wire jet. First thing that comes to mind is the A320. The Moza side stick was inspired by traditional aircraft controls and has a classy design, enhanced by modern materials. Glossy, and I like it. When opening the box, we find the grip engulfed in a thick layer of protective material, keeping it safe from any damage, scratches or invasive actions. The grip is lighter than the previous model we got from Moza, but does feel more fancy, as the glossy material, made out of plastic, is very nice to touch and gives you some luxurious vibes. Natasha approves. According to Moza, it is built with ultra-rigid composite material and can withstand up to 30 kilograms of impact force and endure up to 100,000 cycles. Impressive! The switches are also very clicky, featuring the high-quality ALPS and, like the previous grip, have a way more satisfying feel than my previous Trustmaster grip. Of course, it's compatible with all Moza bases, present and future ones, and most third-party bases, with a plug-and-play functionality for seamless integration into your setup. The total number of buttons is 4, if you include the trigger, which does only feature one stage of fire. By itself, I would use it with General Aviation in Microsoft Flight Sim and with Warbirds in DCS World. With the Z-axis module, I see more potential in Star Citizen and other types of space sims and even the upcoming Farming Simulator 2025. In DCS, you can use it for yaw control or, as our dear friend Rhinox recommends, your toe bricks in case your pedals are missing that functionality. Good point. The Z-axis can be used with all Moza grips and most third-party joysticks that are available on the market. With the extension of 97mm, the Z-axis gives you more precise control for your aircraft or spaceships and you can always choose to lock the Z-axis if you don't want to use it for your airplanes. Though I must say, I am not a big fan on how they lock the axis. That screw and the tiny Allen keys, you know, I'm not a fan of those small keys. But that's my experience, yours may be different. Coming back to the grip, it's light, classy and great with the Moza AB9 base and its force feedback capabilities. Once again, because it's part of the Moza ecosystem, it makes sense to use it together. That is, if you can afford the AB9 base, which can be a bit more expensive, but still in a good spot on the force feedback tier. The Moza side stick goes for $79 and the Z-axis module is priced the same, bringing both of them to a total of $158. Now, would you use something like this in a combat flight sim? Maybe yes, maybe no. It depends. But since Moza entered the flight sim segment, they are bound to bring a lot of new toys for us to enjoy. And that is a good thing. So if you are in need of an extra side stick or an extension to your grip, make sure to check out their shop using our affiliate link. This helps us improve our standing with these companies and brings our channel more products to review in the future. A big thank you to Moza for choosing our channel with their product reviews. Many thanks to our patrons for their continuous support. Soon we will have more goodies for them to enjoy. And remember to give us a like if you find our video informative and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.